So you you want to lose weight. Okay, Th this this can be a good thing. And I say it can be a good thing because it's not always a good thing. Uh, first reason why it would not be a good thing, um, if you don't actually need to lose weight. There are a lot of people who think that they're just, you know, nobody can accept me. I, I'm just disgusting. I have to lose weight. And they're already at a good weight. That's not the best time. See what I mean? If, if you're overweight, that's something else, though. Um, if you are trying to lose weight while you're also trying to build like muscles might not be the best way to go about it um, because you'll probably not be getting enough calories to be able to build the muscles so it might end up working against you it's really important to talk to a nutritionist a doctor something to kind of set you on the white on the right path um, and losing weight, here's the thing about losing weight, okay, everybody wants to lose weight, it's, everybody's talking about diets and these different things, here's the thing, losing weight shouldn't be an issue of, you know, we make it emotional, right, oh, you, you just don't love fat people, that, that shouldn't be the issue, um, the issue should be being healthy and living a fuller life without the, the medical concerns, when you are overweight, Typically, you're going to have a, 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 a less emotional, um, let me say that differently, you're going to have a harder time with your emotions, and you're going to have um, more chronic conditions that come up, heart issues, breathing issues, um, really issues in every part of your body. Um, our bodies weren't meant to be um, overweight. And... So you're going to have more joint pain and all kinds of different stuff that you wouldn't have if you were a, a healthier weight. So once again, losing weight shouldn't be about, oh, it's you, you, you hate fat people or whatever. That shouldn't even be part of the discussion. It should be you can find comfort apart from food. You don't – you can do this, okay? And, and you don't have to live that way. Uh, I know it's hard and I know – in a lot of cases, there's you know a strong emotional problem that has happened. I totally get all that, um, but losing weight shouldn't be about those things. And sometimes it's hard to give up certain foods because it's it's it has maybe a memory food for us. That shouldn't be the issue. The issue should be trying to be healthier. Okay. So there's three things specifically I want to want to say about losing trying to lose weight. First off, don't let losing weight be the focus. Wait, what? Yes, I I, I know I. I, I know. If you are trying to get healthier, let the focus be being healthy and being active, eating better. Instead of eating at, you know, fast food restaurants, instead of that, maybe eating a salad. You know, still making sure that you're getting a good diet, you know, getting enough to eat, I should say. It, statistically, <laughs> you're going to get way more nutrients eating salads than you are, you know, eating at fast food restaurant even if you get a salad from a fast food restaurant but with that being said um <laughs> uh you know so so the, the main focus being uh, not on losing weight but on being healthy being active eating better i mean you will start feeling better but before you start feeling better you're gonna feel a lot worse you're gonna feel like um emotionally off too it'll take a while for your body to start adapting um, and what I found is when you change your 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 diet, you're going to actually lose weight. Um, I mean, it's going to be one of the things that happens as a result of eating healthier. Um, salads, you know, with chicken is going to sit a lot better, especially if it's cooked in something like, you know, avocado oil, is going to sit a lot better than, you know, deep fried, <laughs> deep fried French fries. I mean, it's, it's just one of those things. You know, you're going to see some things that, that, that will be a little bit easier. Um, and if you are trying to do stuff like cut out carbs and stuff, make sure that you talk to somebody about that. Some people's bodies are not um, in the – don't have the capacity to do, to do that. Um, uh, mine is one that I, I can't cut carbs completely out of my diet. Um, I sit very precariously. I can't have too many. I can't have too little. So it's one of those <laughs> one of those things. But – you know, uh, just make sure that your body's able to handle whatever you're you're trying to change on it, especially keeping in mind that you know it's been living a certain way for a long time. So, um, don't don't let losing weight be the focus. 
let the focus be um, being healthy, being active, living a fuller life, that kind of stuff, okay? Um, and then the second thing, I'm sorry, I said three things earlier. It's only two things. The second thing, don't lose weight because you, th you see yourself as disgusting or you think that other people see you as disgusting. Don't let that be the reason that you're, that you're losing weight, okay? Because what's going to happen is you're going to go to it with from a mindset of guilt. Oh, I should be doing better. I should be healthier. I shouldn't be eating like this. And what I found is that guilt typically works against you. It doesn't make you feel real good. So then you want to eat something to make yourself feel better. And then living with that high level of stress of I can't accept myself. I'm so disgusting. What's going to happen is it's going to stress out your body. And you're going to have a rise of anxiety. Your, your body's not going to process the food like it should. It, that's a terrible place to go to weight loss from, okay? And if, and if your mindset is, oh, I'm just so disgusting, um, the only way anybody will be able to love me is if I lose weight, y y you got to deal with that, okay? So first off, you, you got to come to a place of accepting yourself for who you are. It doesn't matter how heavy you are. You have to come to a place of just accepting yourself and loving yourself accepting who you are and starting from that as a base because otherwise you're going to say okay i'm disgusting nobody loves me i can't love me i have to do this so it's a thing of guilt it's a thing of self-hate you're not going to do something good for you <laughs> if you don't even like you so i mean i'm trying to take this i'm, I'm trying to make this more lighthearted, but this is a serious serious thing maybe just start talking to somebody about a counselor for instance about um maybe more coming to grips with with who you are and, you know, not being so negative with yourself. Maybe change the narrative that's happening up here. Instead of, oh, I'm so disgusting, I'm so... How about this? I can do this. Um, I'm a nice person, and, and I'm, trying to, I'm trying to be a nice person. See what I mean? Weight isn't the most important thing in your life. You just have to come to a place of accepting that. It's good to be healthy. Um, just like it's, it's good to walk an old lady across the street. <laughs> um, so... Okay, don't don't lose weight because you think you're disgusting. Accept yourself for who you are before you ever try to lose weight. And then lose weight from a place of self-love. I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this to be healthier. I'm doing this to be happier. I'm doing this for me. And um, once you have that different of uh, doing it from a place of self-love instead of self-hate, and you don't have that guilt to go along with it, it's going to be a lot easier. Um, so, you know, I just want to encourage you, if you're trying to lose weight and you actually need to lose weight, hey, the, great, great job. Great job focusing on it. Sometimes, sorry, sometimes it's hard to face these kinds of things, but you're doing it anyways, and that's just, that's super awesome. Um, keep at it. I mean, you're going to do great. You're going to do fine. Um, and, but, but remember, it doesn't matter what the scale says, okay? It matters how you feel. You know, some people have bigger bodies than other people, for instance, and that, that's okay. Some people, you, you're not going to be able to get to maybe a 120 pound body and you probably shouldn't <laughs> that that's probably not great but <laughs> um but you know that's just that's just a reality of what you're gonna have to deal with and, and that's totally okay um accept you for who you are be happy be healthy be active eat better have a better life